Okay, so here are our chapter one uh, notes, and this is just an introduction to human anatomy and physiology. Uh, we just want to, you know, uh, clarify some terms here. We want to um, look at the anatomical uh, positioning. Um, so when you are reading these chapters and it's referring to this cavity or this part of the body, you know exactly what it's talking about. And I'll briefly talk about a little bit about um, the different systems we have. So definitions. Anatomy is the structure of body parts, also called morphology. Um, anatomy just deals with, okay, this is your spleen, okay? This is where it's located in your body. That's anatomy. Physiology is the function of the body parts, what they do and how they do it. So what the spleen does, um, its function and purpose in the body. Characteristics of life, movement, self-initiate, change in position, motion of internal parts, responsiveness. Um, so when we talk about characteristics of life, we normally talk about there's eight of these, but I'm just going to talk about a, a few of them. We talk about its movement, um, responsiveness. Ability to sense changes within or around the organism and react to them. Growth, increase in body size. Reproduction, uh, parents produce offspring, producing new individuals. And then we have respiration, obtaining oxygen, using it to release energy from food substances and getting rid of waste. Here are some... Um, functions of the body. We have digestion, which is um, chemically changing or breaking down food substances and getting rid of the waste. We have absorption, which is passage of digestive products, food substances, through membranes and to the body fluids. Circulation, movement of substances throughout the body. Assimilations, uh, or assimilation, uh, Changes absorb substances into chemical diff uh, different substances. Then we have excretion, removal of waste. So how can you remember that list? Create a mental picture of yourself doing these things. Some mental mapping that you could do is I'm walking to McDonald's. That's movement. Stop at a traffic light. That's response to the traffic light. My body is growing, growth, um, I'm breathing air, respiration, I get a hamburger and eat it, digestion. My body absorbs the hamburger, absorption, the um, hamburger circulates in my body, circulation, the hamburger is changed to different things my body needs, assimilation. Um, eventually I go to the bathroom, excretion, and someday I may reproduce, reproduction. Other characteristics, we have metabolism, which is all the physical and chemical changes in our body that um, take place when um, we obtain energy and we use it. Bodily needs, we, all, we need food, oxygen, water, and heat. Homeostasis is a tendency of the body to maintain a stable and balanced internal environment and this is um, actually a topic that um, he'll briefly touch on on more assignments this week. Levels of organization and we'll just talk real briefly about that. We have our atoms and atoms make up molecules. When atoms bond together they make up a molecule. When these molecules bond together they make up cells when these cells bond together, they make up tissues. Uh, when these tissues come together, they make up an organ. The organs, uh, different organs put together, make up an, um, a system, an organ system. And when we put all the organs 
systems together, we get an organism. General organization of the body, we have the axle portion, which is the um, head, neck, and the trunk. So you'll see, um, you know, the spine and the ribs are, are in that. Then we have the appendicular portion, which are the arms and the legs. And here we have the arms, we have the legs. Um, down here, we also have the pelvic girdle as part of that. There are several body cavities and layers of membranes within the cavities. Body cavities. Um, we have our dorsal, our backside. We have ventral, which is the front side. Um, so if we were talking about a dorsal, uh, we would be talking about our, our backs. We're talking about uh, ventral. We're talking about where our faces are. When we talk about thoracic, we talk about the chest. This is where our heart, trachea, and lungs are. The abdomen, which is located just below the chest, which is like your stomach area. And this is where you'll find your spleen, intestines. Um, your pelvic area, which is the lower abdomen, where you'll find your um, bladder and your reproductive organs. You have something called a diaphragm that's going to separate the thoracic and pelvic regions. You also have the uh, serous membrane, which covers and surrounds organs, and you have serous fluid, which lubricates organs. This is um, uh, the assignment that you will be doing. Um, it wants you to um, label each of these body cavities. Use your book. I'm also about to go to a slide. If you want to pause the slide, you can use that too. Um, so here we have our cranial cavity, our vertebral cavity, our canal, excuse me, our thoracic cavity. Our diaphragm is going to separate the abdominal cavity from the um, thoracic cavity. Here's our abdominal cavity and um, down here we'll have our pelvic cavity, and again pelvic cavity, abdominal cavity, pericardial cavity, um, diaphragm separating again, here's another part of it so you might want to just pause that and, and use that or you can use your book also. Membrane. So we have the um, serous membrane, which is two layers, and it covers organs. We have the outer layer, which is the parietal layer, and then we have the inner layer, which is the visceral. It lines the organs. And then we have the um, serous, or, whoops, serous fluid, which is the lubricating fluid. We also have the pleura, which um, is the lining of the lungs, the pericardium, which is the lining of the heart, and the peritoneum, um, which is organs, the uh, abdominal pelvic region. We have the visceral pleura and the parietal pleura, um, which this is going to be the um, outer layer. This is going to be the inner layer of the lungs. Visceral pericardium, parietal pericardium, visceral uh, peritoneum, parietal peritoneum. Remember the, the visceral inside, parietal outside lining. Here are some of our organ systems that we'll talk about and you guys have been researching about. Um, we have the reproductive system, the urinary system, the respiratory system, digestive system lymphatic system, in, uh, cardiovascular system, endocrine system, nervous system, muscular system, skeletal system, and um, we have in the integumentary system. 
and um, you you might um, not be familiar with some of these. Some of these um, you're very familiar with lymphatic system. This is we're dealing with our immune system, endocrine system, dealing with hormones, um, and then and here we have the integumentary system, uh, which is dealing with your skin. Anat um, anatomical terminology: we have superior, inferior, anterior, posterior, medial, lateral, proximal, distal, superficial, and deep. When we're talking about superior. We're talking about the cranial region. We're talking about inferior. We're talking about um, our, you know, lower uh, to our feet. Um, lateral. Oh, oops. Versus um, medial. Um, we talk about posterior. We're talking about the back side. While when we talk about anterior, we're talking about our front side. So when we talk about posterior, we're talking about um, you know, think about your back. When we're talking about anterior. Think about where your face is located, that side of your body. When we talk about lateral, we're talking about coming from, you know, this side. We talk about medial, we're talking about coming from the uh, med uh, medium region or medial region. Here we have different planes of the body. We have our sagittal plane. We have our axle plane. We have the uh, coronal plane. The sagittal plane is going to be the medium plane. Um, we also have transverse planes, which are horizontal, and the coronal plane, which is the um, frontal plane. Here we have different regions of the body, and this is where, you know, you kind of need to go through and look, whereas we would call our mouth, that's oral, nose, nasal regions. Um, forehead, frontal, eye, orbital. So um, just go through and you know different regions um, you have this to fill in. And you also have this in your book. Alright, well that's it.